Inception is a 2010 movie directed by Christopher Nolan, starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Dominic Cobb, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Arthur, Killian Murphy as Robert Fisher, Elliot Page as Ariadne, Tom Hardy as Eames, and Ken Watanabe as Sato. The film follows Dominic Cobb, an expert in extracting information from people's dreams, when he is hired by Sato to instead implant an idea into Robert Fisher's mind through a process called Inception. Fisher is the heir to a multi-million dollar business with the potential to rule his ill father's company. Sato wants Fisher to split up his father's company into different shares owned by different people, ensuring Sato's own company complete domination over the energy production business. By planting the idea in Fisher's mind that he wants to split up the company rather than keep it whole, he feels as though it is what he wants to do rather than being pressured into splitting the company by external factors and in return refusing to do so as it's not his own choice. To achieve Inception, the team aims to plant a seed in Fisher's mind. To do this, they pressure him into giving a number combination to a fake safe when they kidnap him and his father-in-law, Peter Browning. Browning is seen as a father figure to Fisher in comparison to his strange relationship with his real father. The number he gives is 528491, a seemingly entirely random number. This number is used as a seed implanted into the dream levels to help him intend to split his father's company. In level 2 of the dream, the number is reinforced through the number on the napkin given to Fisher by a woman, and in level 3, through the hotel room number. This helps solidify this number used to open a safe at level 4, so he feels he has accomplished this, but is actually designed and a planted idea for him. Throughout this film, Fisher is portrayed as a very stoic and unemotional character and gives very little visible care about his dying father as he showed no interest in Fisher as a child. When Dominic Cobb goes to Fisher in Dream Level 2 and tells him he is his quote, unconscious security, Fisher very quickly believes him and follows his orders without question. Mr. Fisher, I'm here to protect you in the event that someone tries to access your mind through your dreams. You're not safe here. I was sent here to protect you in the event that extractors tried to pull you into a dream. And I believe that's what's going on right now, Mr. Fisher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you get me out here? Right away. Follow me. This further highlights his lack of authority figure in his life as he is scrambling to find a new one, as his father, who would stereotypically take on this role in his life, isn't present, so he's desperate to find a separate individual who will tell him what to do. The final scene between Robert and his father breaks Fisher's stoic demeanour about his relationship with his father, and this is the moment where his father dies, and Robert realises his father wasn't pushing him away, and he was just trying to protect Robert from becoming like him. And this is where we see Robert's emotions for the first time in this film, showing the importance of having a father figure, but realising it too late.